This is a really quick video on how to save your course to access the course once it's been archived. So open up one of your courses and go to the options button. Click on options and then click on save course to resources. It will ask you to put it in a specific collection or a folder. Um, I don't know if you have collections or folders um, already created, but if not, just keep it on home, no folder, and hit submit. It's going to go into your resources here. These are your collections. You may just have one for home. If you want to create more to keep yourself organized, you can go ahead and click on this little um, file box. I added a collection for my college composition courses and then within that box, kind of think of it as a file box, within that box I have folders which contain each of my courses and then of course you can create folders here. So however you want to organize is up to you. But this is where everything will go once you go through the step of saving your course to resources. If your course has been archived and you don't see it in this area, you can click on courses in the blue banner, then my courses, that's way over here on the right hand side, choose archived. And then from there, you'll be able to find any courses that have ended that you've taught. So I have my Comp 1 course here. I can go ahead and click on it. And then I can do the same thing where I come over here, Options, Save Course to Resources. And then if, again, if you've got an organizational structure set up, you can kind of choose your folders. All right, so it may tell you it needs a minute to process, but once you go to your resources, you should see everything in there. There, there it is, I think that's it. Yep, added May 29th. If it helps, you can edit the name of it to help keep yourself organized or add a description. And now that stuff is in your resources, which is very easy to access and open up next year if you want to grab materials out of it and send those materials to your new course next fall.